it's it's me it's Tim Schultz here um this would be a nice little review because it's kind of relatable to my stump lane that I did a review on and yes this is a Star Wars sheet behind me it's just blocking my room oh and by the way if you guys hear a sound uh in the background that's a fan that's actually uh keeping my room cool because I was testing everything out to try see if I had the right lighting and everything and uh, uh my room I just don't really want you guys to see so anyways on to the vi on to the review so I'm gonna start out with let's go ahead and look at the minifigs and there's three little minifigs that you come with this set and it's actually a very cool set if you are making a city I am not but of course I'm trying dog hair on my desk so this would be your driver is nice little guy same torso as uh, the stump plane that I did the pilot on the stump plane in the stump plane that I did a review on and uh, he's a nice little sun he has little sunglasses I think I actually should switch that out for the stump plane guy but I'm not going to so yeah the same all these guys actually have the same torso so it's actually just they all are one-sided because it's not like a haunted house or the scooby-doo stuff that just came out whatever I don't have that actually I'm not into that stuff so that would be your driver your monster truck driver and this would be your mechanic I hate the face I very hate the face but oh well, I can't really decide what the fa what heads go in here, so I'm not. I don't work at Lego, and I don't design the sets. So, on. Um, anyways, on to the review. Of course, what I said is all these guys have the same torso, the same torso, all of it, and the the, dr the semi truck driver that comes with this to tow the monster truck around in your city. Or, anyways, um, is actually has the same colored legs. This monster truck driver is has the different legs than the other two people. So the driver and the mechanic both have these headphones because monster truck engines are really loud. Um, onto the driver. Now, I actually like this guy because he kind of looks like BS. So, he kind of looks BS. So, I'm not allowed to say that because I'll have to do a lot of editing and I don't like doing editing. So, and this is your driver, just it's regular headphones like the mechanic had and much like that. Now, on the monster truck, I'm going to have you guys do a small. Uh, question or answer something for me. So here's the monster truck. I actually like what they did for the telescopes. Actually, the small use for um, suspension. And there's actual an actual drive shaft in there, which is actually really cool. Which I thought was kind of cool. Cool. Now it's just little suspension and everything. But now here's the question I want you guys to write in the comments what you guys think this is for. The Lego put this on here. I have no idea why. And I don't want to know why. Well, I kind of do. And I was kind of thinking it was more of a tow. It was more of like a tow hook. Like you could make you could take your hook your Lego hook with the rope on it and hook it hitch it onto here and then pull your truck out of the mud or whatever it's stuck in now of course with the stump plane it has this small engine piece which is actually pretty cool for a monster truck here's the dumb thing that lego put on the monster truck license plates now of course i'm sure some of you have been to a monster truck show and you did not see a license plate on the monster truck because they do not go on the road 
Of course they, well, and of course they put brake lights and headlights. The arena is lit, Lego. And why would somebody put a, uh, put this monster truck on their Lego City roads? Well, in real time, it would actually destroy your road. But if you're that kind of person, then go ahead and put it on your road. I'm, I'm not judging you. Not judging you. Mm -mm. Nope. But on to the truck, which is actually a cool little truck that I have seen here. Now, this truck is actually a really cool little design. It's actually a nice little truck for it. And um, it's a nice use of the binoculars for horns. Uh, and it's a nice little truck that they made for this. And I know they don't really want to put, like, you know how semis have, like, that hitch underneath the trailer? I know they kind of want to get to realism, but I guess it's Lego, so they haven't really made something for it yet. And that's all you really have for a hitch. But on to our trailer. Which is this. Oh, there we go. Now, there's one thing I kind of hate about this trailer. It doesn't have blinkers. It has brake lights, which are right there. But it doesn't have blinkers. Well done, Lego. Well done. Gotta put blinkers next time. Listen, gotta put blinkers. But overall, this truck is actually pretty nice. It's got the small ramps that move up and down, and then the small vent piece, I don't know what to really call that, to get over that and onto the trailer. Now, this is a very good idea. Whoever designed this in the LEGO design room is a smart person. They put these two studs, these two... Uh, ramp pieces here to keep the tr the front the truck from moving on the city roads so I'm shaking it here I and mean, yes it's kind of moving but it's not really coming free and then moving off and then onto the road but the overall this truck is very nice with little tool containers and of course I just had a screwdriver fall out but screwdriver's not happy with me but these containers actually contain little pieces or little tools and this drill this drill here could not fit in uh, these small containers because look how big it is it's not gonna fit and plus I already have these containers jammed with all the tools they gave me in this set now, this small piece here is to take the lug nuts off of the wheel to change the wheel out, but they didn't give you a spare tire. Oh well. So, and these, this truck, or this trailer actually sits pretty well by itself. I mean, yeah, there's probably this, these back wheels, these back wheels here actually will set, sit off the ground. But these, these wheels here will not, and then this part here will just hold it. But I don't know if somebody's going to add on and it's like, oh, I gotta add little stands here, like regular trailers do. But over this, the truck and the trailer actually go together pretty well, actually. And it uh, moves smoothly. It moves very smoothly on, uh, by themselves. So, it's a very nice little truck that is actually here, that I have here. Now, just one thing here, which I kind of thought was hilarious, was that the plane, I forgot 
where? No, not on the not on the plane. It's on the guy. Now, I want you guys to look at the pilot and the driver of the semi truck. These both have the same torsos. So I'm guessing you could easily put these guys together and work, have them work together or have this guy fly the plane and this guy, or this guy uh, drive this monster truck or just leave it how it is. But I actually thought that was kind of funny when I got this monster truck set because I had the plane set before I had this set this monster truck set and so I actually thought it was funny when I looked at the torsos I actually thought I thought I, 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 I thought I saw this torso somewhere else on something and I went and looked at my uh, stump plane pilot and the same torsos so I was got thought that was kind of funny and the plane actually comes onto your trailer that you get with this onto the trailer very well actually very fits very well um I don't know if you really want to have your semi driving in the middle of the road and then have people like spread off to the side of the road but you're gonna have to have cops in front of your semi here so that's pretty well what I have for the review go ahead and hit that like button and try to get as money up and please comment and tell me what this what you think this is for I have no idea what it's for and please subscribe it would really help out and I will see you in the next video bye